is there a way to is there a best practice to create a butler building wall they are built with metal rib sheets like the steel deck and metal decks um mm, not really um so you can you can look at um sort of my if you look at my board and batten um thing from monday my tutorial from monday um that's one way to approach it but i i it's really hard things like that are really hard to to figure out you could use you could create a repetitive family or build it into like if you created a, for example a beam that was shaped as one of those panels and ribs um like i, I guess you know what let's let's just for fun so what i did here is i took the beam system <clears throat> i carried it over here so i just copied pull this over here so i just copied this beam system from the wall i loaded in a hat channel and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the distance of this to 3.5 inches. Oh, granted, if you were using a butler building, it may be like 18 inches, and that's what the channel looks like. And then I'm going to flip this thing to a hat channel, click apply. And now if I zoom in, you can see what this looks like. Okay, looks like we're back. So hopefully you guys can see this. And you can see what this is. It's just a beam system with repetitive elements. So ideally this hat channel would essentially be your butler building wall that you're talking about, and you can use that. Um, for this case, you may want to use something like a, a curtain wall, just because it, it acts more like a wall and you can stretch and pull it without modifying it. And then you can use the mullions as your your quote unquote butler butler stuff. So hopefully that's that's helpful there.